Yo, what's up guys, Eki here. Let's react to my NHL Gaming World Championship win from 2018, a long time ago. Now let's take a look at the road to the NHL Gaming World Championship finals in Las Vegas, Nevada. The NHL Gaming World Championship began with online qualifiers that took place across three regions. In the qualifiers, competitors were placed into single elimination brackets. The top two players from each qualifier advanced for a total of eight to their local regional finals. The top two competitors from each regional final will then move on to the world finals. There are a hundred thousand dollars up for grabs between the players the first NHL gaming world championships was played in online versus the format was a bit different back then here are the european finalists oh look how serious we are man i just love this format there was four chances in the qualifiers to make it to the regionals it's it's one now and then even in the regionals it was double elimination i've always preferred best of one double elimination to uh, best of three single elimination back then hansu and plee were the guys hansu and plee were the top two guys in europe uh dominante was a third one he didn't make it to the regionals but yeah plee and hansu was guy to guys to beat and i think i was kind of the you know dark horse coming in hansu linho's first game against nieppi i remember I remember Niepi winning, which was an absolutely huge surprise. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the, the memories of this tournament, it's just outstanding. <laughs> Darkage against Flyer Kugan. <laughs> oh, Flyer Kugan, my current 6v6 team, and he was up 3 0 in the first period. And I uh, lost this game. I still hear him talking about this game sometimes. Look at him. Oh, he's been. <laughs> Oh, here I am! 18 year old me! Favorite player to Rask. This was a cocky, cocky guy. <laughs> Got to say. Oh yeah, I faced Artuzio. Man, I remember this first game went super good. Artuzio wasn't as good back then as he is nowadays. Nowadays he's one of the best in Europe, but back then it was a surprise. He made it in. I think I won this game like 7-2 or something. Look at that sauce! The gameplay is so slow in NHL 18. Winner bracket semi-final I played uh, against Darkic. Look at the one for trap! Oh, I was known for this back then. This was the time your AIs uh, hit people poked people, took penalties, they don't do any of that nowadays, it was a lot different, trap was the way to go. I think I was struggling a bit in this game, but uh, I ended up winning this 4-3, if I remember right. 10 seconds to go, Dark gets down by one, but this was a thriller. Get it out! Oy, 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 oy. And now I'm in the winner bracket final, uh, one game, and we're in Vegas. I played Playmaker in the winner for bracket finals. I thought I was the underdog coming in into this game. I honestly thought so. Play 16, still by 6v16, mate. We have some history. Uh, it was just unreal back then. Here we go. I'm playing with the pens. The winner of this game makes it to Vegas. Uh, first NHL Game World Championships, you don't realize how big this situation was. Like, it was... The nerves were absolutely ridiculous. My first tournament final ever was against uh, Play. The first tournament I... <laughs> we got the speedo of a pass! Oh Where are those moves nowadays? I don't have a speedo of a pass on my repertoire. So yeah, my first tournament ever, I made it to the finals, completely surprised me. I started playing NHL ever since, but I played Plea in the finals in the tournament. I think it was for 1000 euros. Plea absolutely destroyed me. He won me like, what, 5-1, 6-2 or something in, in a best of three. Yeah, it wasn't even close. This was one year after that. Dude, look at that go. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> In every NHL, there's crazy ways to score. Oh, no. oh I, don't I don't even remember that. This move was so OP back then. You could do it so fast back and forehand. It went in every time if your guy didn't miss the net. Spinorama pass. Dude, was Spinorama pass to play back then? Player in his prime wasn't fun to defend. Dude, even that shot, even that shot was OP back then. That one-timer to the front post. The goal scoring was a lot different in 18, man. People say NHLs don't change, but I see a totally different game. Oh yeah, back then you could do the fake face-offs also. Man, how different was this game? I think that face of still needs to be in this game, where you fake backhand, but you can face off forehand. You have to remember here, the loser of this game still had one chance to go to Vegas, but uh... The guy who lost most likely had to play Hans Linho, who was making a run in the loser bracket, so... Yeah, both of us didn't really want to lose, obviously. There we go. I was so serious back then, man. Oh my god. Obviously, our first tournament, you just... You was so focused. I think I was a bit over-focused. Actually, looking back on it. But it worked out. 
Three, three, two minutes to go. Why did I throw that out? Oh no! <laughs> what? That was so close. I can't believe Plea didn't make it to Vegas this year. I, I can't believe. Yeah, maybe you could hold on to the puck. Oh, what the? Oh, what was that sauce? Oh, look at me. I thought that was it. <laughs> Over time, I'm short-handed. Oh, this was huge to clear. <laughs> look at the spam pokes. Some things never change. <laughs> Olesiak. Olesiak with this knife. Crosby. Why did I sauce that? Malkin. Torquist. Oh, Lord. I was a lot happier than I looked. I was a lot happier than I looked. But yeah, it's like. Oh. Dude, the memory. One of the most charismatic individuals in this tournament will Charismatic individuals What? Oh no, an interview Oh no yeah, Very good, it was the toughest game of my life, so yeah. Breathe deep now, because you're going But $5,000 is still on the line So what are you going to do with that 5k? If you win it uh, cele Celebrate a lot, but I, I haven't still <laughs> thought about it a lot Maybe I need a car, so maybe a car <laughs> that was cap. I didn't need a car. That was cap. I just wanted to say something. Uh, diamonds came up once for from Rihanna, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem. Great, great motivating song. That explains the head bobbing that I saw. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, going into your final. Is it too bad? What are you bringing to the table to help ensure that you walk away with that five thousand uh, dollars? I'm in a pretty good role, so just play my game and yeah, I think I will win it. But. <laughs> I think I will win it. Uh, so what happened here was that Artutsia made a run, completely shocked everyone. He beat Hans Linho and Plea in the loser bracket finals. And me and Artutsia were going to Vegas. And uh, now we played for the 5,000 uh, first prize and the European Championship. Looking at this tournament kind of explains Artutsia's success after this tournament. He wasn't, he wasn't supposed to be in Vegas back then, but he made it and... He's won two Finnish championships after that. He won this tournament in 2020, European Championship. Like he's he's a tournament he's a tournament player. You noticed it here. One one in the third. Even though my first game against Artutsia in this tournament, I won like seven two. The final was very very tight. Look at that. That that was the goal I was talking about. The quick forehand. It was so OP. Ten seconds to go. Artutsia coming down. Nowhere. Oi oi oi. Come on. Okay, let's go. Let's jump to the Vegas World Finals. Vegas, man, this this was a tournament. This was I love this format. There was six qualifiers. Everybody played each other one time, and the two guys with the best records uh, after the five games got to play for the grand final for the trophy. The way this tournament worked is that we played three matchups. Okay, I have to pause this and explain. So in the first day, everybody played three of their five games off stream, totally off stream. And then the two final rounds plus the finals were live. So that was one thing I didn't like. We played a bunch of games off stream. Everybody played their own region. First, I played Artutsia first. Going into this tournament, I thought Canadians and Artutsia was my toughest competition. I just brushed the USA players all the way to the side. I thought their gameplay looked absolutely terrible. But uh, as I've learned since, it doesn't really matter in 1v1 how your gameplay looks. Here we are. A lot of guys who still play. Kren still plays at a high level. Pens. Artutsia obviously. Fool. John Wayne. Everybody still plays. So, yeah, nice to see. I have to show you guys my interviews as well before before this tournament. Uh, I'm pretty embarrassed by those nowadays, but it's kind of part of the story. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> yeah, we got to see the Stanley Cup. Touch it. I don't know if I touched it. I don't know. I better have touched it. You don't get many chances to do that. All right, there we show the highlights now after the first three games. I remember Junior Pens went 3-0. Oh. oh, yeah, they're showing it first. Yeah, Pence went 3-0 was a huge surprise. He was second in the regionals in USA. I think he won like three tight games. Pence was confirmed to go to the f f grand finals after the first day. I remember that. Look at the score. Look at the goals he scored. Basic Pence. <laughs> Low shot rebound. I won all of my games as well. My first game against Artutsi was overtime. I played so bad in this game. Never been more nervous in my life. 
But after I went Bartuzio in the first game, it started going so much better. I remember Fool, in my opinion, was like the guy who looked the best in regionals, but I won him 4-0 and after this I was like so confident. I think I won John Wayne 3-2 in, in my third game. So me and Pence after day one were 3 and now everybody else was 1 and 2. So it was basically 100% set that I will play Pence in the World Finals. I think Ren and Fool still had a chance to go to the World Finals if they won the rest of their games. Yeah, like I said, these were the standings after three rounds. I played Penn's first game in uh, the second day. If I won this game, I knew I would play him in the World Finals. Penn scored right away. Uh, again, I was a bit nervous here, even though I maybe didn't look like that, but I was, I was super nervous. But I, st I, I think I won this game like 6-1 or something, something like that. And uh, people were telling me that Pence lost on purpose because he wanted, he didn't want Young Gren in the finals. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that was the case. Most likely not. Uh, why would have I cared anyways? I made it to the World Finals. Oh, there's the freaking cheesy backhand forehand that I was talking about. There we go, emotion. The red shorts. <laughs> Oh, me against Jankren, oh, the final round. Man, I think Jankren had to lose by three or less. I think it was three goals or less, and he would be third in the tournament. And, uh, dude, I don't know if I want to do this to Kren. I'm sorry, Kren, man. I like you. I really like you nowadays. But back then, I didn't. <laughs> so, I think the game was... I think I was leading by four or five. And Kren told me that uh, give him some goals. Or asked me to give him give him goals so he would get third. I don't know. Oh, I feel bad saying that, but dude, hey, you can't say that in a tournament. You you can't say that. And uh, yeah, I just kept go I, I just kept scoring. I I <laughs> dude, you know how much I enjoy this. Grant talked a lot of trash back then. So did I, but so did Grant. I think Grant I think Grant talked a bit more. Yeah, I think I think there he was uh, saying it, but yeah, I think I won credit like six one or something, and uh, I played Junior Pens in the finals. John Wen was third. Oh, I'm so excited! Aki's the man. Let's go! <laughs> now ten grand, you guys. As Imagine John Wen saying that nowadays. I haven't heard that in a while from him. <laughs> These were the final rankings, and I played Junior Pens in a best of three world final. Oh my god. Back then I just thought I would win this tournament like all the way through, especially after I got the 2-1 win over Artuzzi. I was just so confident. Oh, is this the interview? I'm Eki from Espoo, Finland. My expectations are to win the whole thing. I think I'm capable of doing it and I have a talent to do it, so it's just mental from now on. I'm one of the best defensive guys in the game and I know how to use the CPU to my advantage. The best players come from Europe and especially Finland. I don't think the Americans are talented enough to win this tournament. I've seen them play and it doesn't really impress me. <laughs> Pretty much the Canadians are going to be the toughest. So that helps a lot like like Look at how far back I am! I play at my own level, I think I, I should win this tournament. I can test them mihinkään. Suomi on paras. Dude. Dude. Okay, I. This is a guy who, who got put in front of cameras for the first time, who just said what popped into his mind. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, that that does, that's as honest uh, as an interview you will get. But uh, you know, I I like I like to be very respectful nowadays. I don't like to throw people under the bus like that. I think that was too much. Like that was way too much. I've uh, yeah, I, I apologize to the Americans. I think afterwards as well. I, that's that's really not <laughs> not right what I said. <laughs> but all right, world finals, anyways. Uh, best of three for 50k. The way Pence played all wraparounds and day to days and then one timers if he got it. But I remember just sitting in the middle and letting Pence do wraps and day to days. Yeah, I was just doing this basically the whole game. Circling around, trying to find the one timer. We will jump straight away to the third period. And nothing nothing really happened in the game one. And uh you know the thing was Pence just let me have the puck. And uh I was somewhat used to that, but at the same time against the really top guys in Europe, I was the guy on kind of on the back foot defending and then striking on the counter attacks. Everybody everybody in Europe said that in Vegas I played a lot different 
done in the world finals, but it was just totally adapting to the opponent. Yeah, Penn scored first. At this point, I had been in the zone like 12, 13 minutes, not had any any good scoring chances, but I was like super confident because I had the puck all the time. I thought that the chances will come. Even though he led 1-0, I was like, I was feeling good. Kessel! Kessel! Phil Kessel! I think it's... It should. Yeah, Pens was shooting those points at all. Nothing really has changed in Pens gameplay. He's a lot more aggressive though in defense nowadays. Malkin, Kessel! Malkin! Kessel! Ay! Oh, that was huge. Uh, no, no reaction. This was not a pretty game to look afterwards, man. Both guys playing a trap. Both, both guys basically skill zoning. I'm just trying to keep the puck, pen shooting, point shots are wrap around. <laughs> man, it's, it's not a pretty word finals. Final minute, I'm just trying to keep the puck at this point. Obviously, you have to kill the time when it's uh, at the end of the game. People will say, well, it's puck racket, just need to piss off. <laughs> Everybody plays the clock when it's a world final. And there's one minute to go. Pens. Yeah, Pens is just letting it go. Oh, that was kind of a good chance, man. Why did I... Why did I try to score? Oh, man. Come on now. Back. Nowadays, I just would go to the corner right away. Oh, that's the rap I was talking about. That, that went in back then as well. Six seconds. There we go. I won game one. I remember my thought process being that I will just let Pens shoot from the point. And uh, let him do the wraps and hope they don't go in. Because in uh, my own opinion, those weren't so effective. But obviously, Ben's got it to work. Game two. Uh, this was one of the f best games of for me in the tournament. Look at there was the quick forehand again and the rebound afterwards. You can imagine how I'm feeling. I'm one win away from the world champion. Uh, cha world championship. I'm up one. The way game one went, this lead was absolutely massive. What a goal there! But yeah, I was up too. I knew Pens had to play way more aggressive now, and that will probably give me opportunities. And yeah, it was looking good. Pens doing dumps. I got to, got to respect to Pens, man. Pens has his, he's always since day one had his own game style. Rebounds, dump and chase. He like, it's stuff that nobody else in the competitive community really does other than him. That was a huge goal. I got a power play after his goal. I have a feeling that after this, uh, I blew the game pretty wide open. This is a wrap. Yep. And now I scored a couple more and that was basically it. Gary! Gary Batman! <laughs> Tie up. Bang! Herquist! One of my favorites. No, no emotion! <laughs> no, but I was just focused all the way. Oh, yeah, that was a terrible goal. 4-3. I don't remember this at all. This finals was way, way closer than I remember, man. I have this memory that these games were like blowouts, but they were nowhere near blowouts. Sheehan. That's a hood sauce. Oh, that's a big goal. Uh, <laughs> rebound! There we go, that's, that's a little celebration. The country of five and a half million people has a world champion indeed. What a memory this is, man. I remember that forever. I had like crazy there, I don't know why they didn't show that. I wasn't good at this after, in these interviews, but... I, I have a memory in this interview, wasn't pretty. I'm sitting there with red shorts. Hands! Hands in my pockets! But <laughs> Come on, man. Lift the trophy! Ah, there we go. It was a huge surprise for me that Batman was there. When I won it afterwards, then all of a sudden Batman was... Batman just was there, like, beside me, and I was like, whoa, whoa, that's Gary Batman. Presenting a trophy without getting booed, so this is really... This is really nice. Ah, okay. Nicely done. <laughs> I'm honored to present with to you the first NHL Gaming <laughs> World Championship trophy. I think I was supposed to lift the trophy here. I was just like, well all right, just chilly. Oh Lord, <laughs> I, I'm just lost.
I didn't even leave the trophy, but. Guys, money. How does that feel to you? Uh, it's amazing. I've been. I hope this would happen. <laughs> it did. I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Well, you're speechless, but you're also undefeated throughout this tournament, throughout the regionals. I know you can't give away your secret. What can you tell us about how you've been able to have such dominance? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I literally have no idea. Just play my game and. Yeah, that's it. Just play your game. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, man. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, there's the video. Nice to look back at some of these tournaments. They're great memories. Uh, I will do other reactions as well. Year after this, I was in Vegas as well. Uh, which was one of the worst NHL video game memories I have, so I think that will be next. We are not only covering winners here, we have to look at the bad things as well, because I think without that thing what happened to me in 2019, I most likely wouldn't be here in the position I am. So yeah, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought, like the video, subscribe, you know the deal. Have a great day, and see you next time.